This is a quick video how to set up your proxy. When I was first starting the um, this application, the OS Juice, Juice Shop, uh, the problem was um, it was running fine with a Docker container. Docker is uh, kind of like a virtual machine running inside a virtual machine. It's the easiest way to set up some of this application. But when I tried to run the SQL map, uh, I haven't got that on the video, I'll create another video for that. Uh, actual application crashes. So you couldn't run ReSQL map, do some brute forcing. So what I did was I set up a separate whole virtual machine for you guys with this application. It should be available for each one of them, each one of you guys. Uh, so, but you need to make sure you set up your proxy a little bit different because the machine is not running locally anymore. Um, so what you need to do here is make sure you find your IP address. Again, all of the virtual vulnerable virtual machines should be on Ethernet 1 on a host only network. So if I go to my, um, the OWASP machine here, if I go to the settings here, um, it's running on host only. Right now, same as we have adapter on um, on our Kali machine, it's on host only. The reason we do this, you are aware now, because this machine has vulnerabilities. We don't want them to talk to the internet. So so, mine, uh, so my Ethernet adapter is 70.132 for Ethernet 1. Make sure you check that before you go any further. So what you need to do on your Foxy pro proxy, um, create another one or create edit the one you have, make sure you put the IP address of your Kali's Ethernet adapter because remember the proxy, what proxy does is, if I want to demonstrate really quickly, what proxy does is let's say if I have a computer here, if I have a computer here, uh, proxy sits in the between, but right now we are running the proxy inside the Kali. So all your web requests that you send, like your HTTP request that you're sending, I can write this, like you get the idea, HTTP request you're sending on your browser, okay? They don't directly go from your socket to the web server, they go to your proxy, proxy capture the request and it can forward it to the web server. So this is the OS shop that I'm running, okay? The Apple web application. So send it to before, send it to the browser, the proxy here as a middleman capturing them. So proxy needs to know what adapter to use. So that's what I'm trying to show you guys to configure here. So we have multiple adapters, right? ETH1, ETH0, and ETH1. So we need to tell the proxy, use this adapter as your proxy adapter before you forward those requests to this web server through our proxy application. So the proxy we are using is a burp suit. There's multiple proxies you could set it up. So that's the notion behind it. So, so what you need to do on Foxy proxy is that you go here, and add your second Ethernet IP address, and then the port that used by the burp, um, burp suit proxy server. So once you do that, that's pretty good. Then you should be able to go and uh, set up the click multiple proxies you have so you don't have to manually change. So this is the easiest way to set up the proxy. And next thing you need to do here uh, is go to your burp suit, go to the proxy settings here, and go to the interceptor, and in here, there's options. On the options, click you know, you will see by default, it's gonna set it up 127.0.0.1. That's the loopback local adapter as the proxy listener. We need to change the proxy listener as well here to our second ethernet adapter's IP address. So that should automatically picks up. So change from 127 to 192.168.70.130. Once you do that, click okay. And if you have, let's say, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the interceptor on. So now when you try to browse through the, um, Let's say I want to go somewhere else. Let's say let's see if the proxy is turned on. It's running on Juice Shop 2, so that's good. So I'm going to go to About Us. Okay. Do I have the proxy? Yeah. So the interceptor is on now. Now we have to click forwarding. Now you'll see uh, traffic's being captured, right? So I can click, keep click forwarding when the interceptor is on to capture all the traffic. Okay. Uh, again, that's when you want to analyze the traffic. So if you don't want to do that, so now you see the page finish loading it, right? There's a bunch of other stuff down here now loading because every request has to go through this proxy. This proxy needs to forward it to the this web application running on my uh, second VM here. That's my web server, right? So uh, if there's a lot, then you have to keep forwarding a lot, but you don't have to uh, keep forwarding here, okay? If you wanna collect the data, okay, what you could do here instead of keep forwarding here, you can turn on the interceptor off. Okay, see, you saw the web page, page load, right? So I can still go and browse the 
different information like photo wall here, right? So there's nothing on there. Yeah, there's something on the photo wall. So now even though uh, intercept is off, it's capturing traffic. So if I go back down to here to the last request, there's a lot of requests going, right? So I went to the, uh, the photo uh, booth, whatever that path for that application is on the rest memory. So it's probably here has even photo wall is that's a shortcut, but actually paths probably here in this uh, photo in this path here called rest memory. So we can actually see more details than just going into that photo memory because it's not photo and dash wall is not the actual path. Okay, that's why uh, capturing stuff with the um, verb suit, you could see underlying what's going on with the request here as well as the response here. This is the response that we got. This is the actual code inside, HTML code. Uh, probably style sheet, anything that you can be capturing. So that's quick uh, show how to set up your burp um, proxy for, for burp as well as the proxy proxy. You need to set this up before you start working on the project. I mean, you can start this, you can make sure you can access the first, you need to find the IP address, the port number with NMAP. Once you do that, you could quickly um, analyze, um, capture packet, set up the proxy. Okay, so it's a quick demo to show how to set up.